Hey PQI members, this is Erin Fierro, a graduate student researcher in the Levy Lab Legion, bringing you another episode of TLDR. What up? If our intro music today intrigued you, check out Tori Wolf's Era of Time, a musical expression of quantum emotional entanglement. Although I have to say that personally, the only quantum emotional entanglement I've ever experienced was in a lecture hall full of students receiving graded exams. But anyway, let's get to the news. We are coming up on the first day of the month of Halloween, and we will be trying to keep things spooky leading up to Quantum 2020. This week, we are hosting a seminar by Chris Larrakis, the IBM Q lead for the system deployment and hardware strategy. In his talk, What Does It Take to Build a Quantum Computer?, he plans to outline the critical nature of how different disciplines can contribute to this huge task and the problems that IBM wants to solve with this technology. Come by our Zoom room at 4 p.m. tomorrow. Also, Dr. Larrakis, please disregard my IBM bit from last week, thank you. For some local favorites, CMU physics professor Giotti Katok will be giving a talk in the CMU Theoretical Physics Seminar Series at 1 p.m. on Friday. The following Monday, Pitt physics professor Roger Mong will give a talk in the joint CMU Pitt Physics Colloquia at 4 p.m. In PQI news this week, Nathan Youngblood and Fang Jiang received NSF funding for their work studying the stability of phase change materials used in optical memory devices. Sound familiar? These two received NSF funding earlier this summer also. At this rate, NSF is going to run out of cash. Congrats, Nathan and Fung. Returning to our segment, Quantum Extensions, we've learned of a new quantum application, astrology. While I give the author credit for immediately owning up to a lack of knowledge of quantum mechanics, she does call star readings quantum leaps. She calls the information contained in a reading the wave, which is then decoded into a particle known as the experience. It's about as complicated as academic quantum mechanics, to be fair, but we do have to rate this application a D. Plus one for the disclaimer, but at least minus 45 for the star talk. Well, that's all for TLDR this week. Stay PQ engaged, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>